I offer same day personal tarot card readings for $20. You receive your reading the same day of your purchase. Everything you need to know is in the description box below of this video for details of how to book. Thank Hi, you. Libra. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here, for tuning in. We're just going to jump right in and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node, and it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same-day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you, Libra. Okay, Libra, it looks like here with who this is that you're dealing with, that they immediately, you know, are saying that they feel uh, extremely happy and loving and like positive and like, you know, wanting a lot here with you or feeling really motivated and happy and excited here with you. Okay, but it looks like at times, sometimes they feel kind of bored or stuck or they don't know what to do here, a little bit uncomfortable. So that seems to cause a lot of heartbreak and pain here for them, about them to you and what they're feeling. Okay, it, which does cause them to feel a little bit like stuck or trapped or scared or restricted in some way, shape or form here with you, which is what makes them want to lash out at you or get aggressive or get mean or mad or whatever, say something here towards you and start some problems and issues with you and some drama here with you. Unfortunately, just immediately because they're heartbroken and going through it, there, it looks like they're trying to bully you or take it out on you here for the sake of financial independence gain, financial gains, um, money, their own business, unless this is someone that does business with you. Well, it looks like here that there's, they're pretty much burdened by that though at the same time here, whatever that is. And that seems to be causing a lot of pain for them. A lot of sadness, a lot of depressing energy here, a lot of having to dwell from the situation as well but it looks like it's because they are in love with you or they want something new here with you. Uh, unless for some of you, maybe they feel like they have to break up with you, but they're too afraid to, but they need to be single or they're someone else. But I do get the sense here that, you know, it's something new that they want here with you. And they're showing something about money and business and finances with that and having to kind of research, study, spy, and figure out what they need to do about that or maybe what they need to say to you. Although that's what seems to cause them to kind of be, will be completely out of options and be confused and not know what to do about the situation. Okay, because of the relationship that they are, are in with you, a uh, relationship or marriage that they're in with you and or the relationship they wanna be in with you or friendship that they have here with you or partnership. Okay, something about finances and business here. So wanting more of that here with you but that's where they seem to go cold with you as well and pretty reserved and distant. But it looks like it's because they have passion for you or towards you or they get excited or happy or flirtatious or whatever it is here with you and towards you. Ah, and so that fast, a cycle gets closed out because of that. Okay. Well, it looks like here because of a contract or because maybe they are married or in a relationship with someone else that they're involved with you or is it because they want to be involved, you know, and committed to marry to you. For some of you, they end up having to go to guidance to figure out what to do about you and them. But no matter what it is, they choose to want to make things equal here with you and make things work here with you and them in a way that is extremely toxic though. Okay, so it's only for their benefit in here. So they're doing something toxic to you or towards you, I don't know what, um, which though, whatever obsessiveness, addictiveness, toxicity they're doing here that they know they're in with you or towards you, um, you know, it does make them really go through it and understand what's going on with themselves and with you, which makes them feel blocked off or stuck, or they just are indecisive about what to do. But it looks like they keep working on this here with you 
to make things happen and they're just kind of waiting and trying to figure out what it is they need to do here and it is making them feel a bit stuck about the situation but at the same time they don't really want to go anywhere about it and so they are feeling pretty left out you know they are going through a lot here but they don't want to really make some changes though it looks like it's because for some of you they're in their own marriage and relationship and or they had this marriage and relationship with you already and so there's something here that's making them feel lack of and not really the greatest and left out and like they shouldn't be using you or whatever it is here and for some of you it's because either you guys have kids together or marriage or you know marriage and, rela marriage and relationship or they have this with someone else here but it looks like no matter what it is they still um they still you know like you or love you or have feelings for you or like have a crush on you or want to pursue you and that right there is what causes them a lot of pain here okay and something very painful you know has to end which you know does seem to make them feel pretty confident about you and them though and whatever goes on here at the same time there's even more stress and anxiety that they're going through because of the situation and it looks like once again it's because someone's you know committed to the other and it's not to you so it's their own marriage of commitment with someone else or unless it's the marriage of commitment they have with you so there's a lot going on you know with that but they also know deep down what's happening and even when they go get guidance to figure out what to do it's like they deep down already know the answer about all of it but it looks like for the majority of you, they still want to be here with you to create money, work, wealth, abundance, to build more, to have more with you, to grow with you in regards to that here. Um, you know, unless they just have this with themselves as well. For some of you, it's, you know, they do want to, you know, get pregnant, be in a marriage or relationship here with you, um, have more with you, you know what I mean? Or they're just kind of showing themselves and what they do, their level of success. And that they're going to just keep working on this. You could be in this energy as well here, Libra. Um, but they're going to keep building, working from this, and hanging on to all of this with, you know, between the two of you. And for some of you, it is to be in this third party. So some of you might know that you guys are in, in an affair and you're totally cool with your guys' dynamic or whatever. Others of you not. But it is to celebrate with you, party with you, reunite with you, you know, have all that with you or feel celebrated by you. Okay. Um, because for some of you, this is someone from the past. You've known them for a while. This could be X energy for some of you here, or they just want to keep doing things um, from the past, like in their own nostalgic way that they feel here with you and for you. It looks like it's for the sake of like uh, abundance uh, manifesting something of them trying to what they're trying to create here with you or towards you. Something. Of term, you know, for some of you, it's divinatory, it's occult stuff, it's, you know, spiritual stuff. It's more so their own things that they're trying to kind of like manifest for themselves here. At the end of the day, it's because they do have a lot of emotions for you and towards you and feelings here. Okay. So you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Philotaurus, Capricorn, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Thank you. Bye.